Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another family of five grocery haul and meal plan. So if you would like to see our main meals for the week and what I brought for us all to eat this week, then keep watching. <laughs> So as I've had to say in the past few grocery hauls, as per the recent CMA guidelines, I have to tell you that I have worked with Tesco in the past recently. However, as always, our grocery hauls are 100% paid for with our own money. I just want to say that and do my job right. And we're going to get into the rest of the haul now. So starting over here with like store cupboard items and obviously some Coke Zero. We get this every week. This is just an eight pack. I've got two packs of these red wine and white wine stock pots. I used to use these a lot when I was on Slimming World and I thought I would give them a go again because it saves buying like a whole bottle of wine sometimes because I just end up drinking it which isn't great and they're good to have in the cupboards and I'm trying to make a few healthier choices anyway because obviously like spring and summer is coming up and I really want to lose a few pounds I'll be honest. So Next up we have some sliced green jalapenos in brine. I've got two tins of chopped tomatoes here. I've gone for the Growers Harvest brand because they're really affordable. I've got some tomato passata and then a four pack of Tesco's own brand baked beans. And then I have three of the Growers Harvest sweet corn as well and the Grammar's Harvest Long Green Rice. Over here is like nibbles and treats. So got some of these flatbreads that I like to keep in the freezer as I've mentioned time and time and again. I've got some Barney Bears for the kids, some yogurt coated strawberry fruit bites and then some strawberry and banana bars as snacks for the kids. And then I've got a white toasty here as well. Some lightly salted tortilla chips, but I'm a bit disappointed because they're a bit crumbled up and broken. And considering I'm using them in kind of like a nachos dish, that isn't great, but we can make it work. Got some skips because Bill requested those and then I also have some prawn crackers over here as well. And then this is everything else. So let's start over here. I've got a 12 pack of large eggs. I've got two packs of these chicken breast portions, the Willow Farms range, and they're quite affordable. Again, I've got a large chicken here, which was how much? £2.85, which is really reasonable. That's going to go across two meals, which I'll tell you about in a second. Got some least broccoli, we got two of those and that was £1.68 for two and they're nice big ones as well. I've got a large garlic, uh, I was going to say clove, large garlic bulb there and then I have some Redmere Farm spinach, two spring onions, some parsley, some coriander, ginger which came in at 59p, I've got some Brussels sprouts, some bacon medallions, I've got some Wiltshire cured ham, Four carrots I think in there and I've got some cherry tomatoes, Lancashire closed cut mushrooms and there's raspberries, blueberries and then two packs of strawberries. I actually did order a three pound pack which was 600 grams but they'd run out so they sent me two 400 grams one instead for the same price so I got extra strawberries for my money again which was good. Got two large avocados here. I've got two packs of the watercress and spinach and rocket salad, a big bag of peppers, two cucumbers, Maris Piper potatoes, I've also got some more potatoes over here, just solid potatoes there, then lemons and limes, some bananas which we always get, two red onions, they were 31p, clear pack spreadable, cream fields from our tray, soft cheese and how many bananas did we get actually, I think I've got six which was 66p. Got some reduced fat salad cheese, soft cheese, I don't know if I've already said that. Diced chorizo for a recipe I'm doing tonight. Some of these milky bar yogurts for the kids as a treat. And then I've got some natural yogurt and I think, oh, and halloumi. And that is everything. So on to the meal plan. So before I get onto the meal plan, I thought I would tell you how much it costs because I keep getting quite a few questions on my grocery hauls asking to share how much we spent and that kind of thing. And the only reason why I don't do it normally is because I always worried that it would like make people think that I wasn't either spending enough or I was spending too much and I didn't want people to compare. I don't know if that made any sense, but everybody's budget's personal to you based on your diet and how many family members and blah, blah, blah. I think I probably overthought it. So I'm more than happy to share it every week if you want me to. So let me know down in the comments down below if that would be more useful useful and I'm sorry that I've not done it sooner. Um, the cost for this week is £72.96 and that is actually quite good for us. We'll probably spend between 80 and 100 on a big shop and sometimes we'll do top up shops based on what we've got in, what we've got on and you know like the certain things that we need. It just completely depends on our week. 
what we do pretty much always buy throughout the week is more fruit because the kids go through that quite quickly and sometimes another loaf of bread but other than that we don't we don't buy masses more it just depends on how organized we've been but anyway i will share the meal plan it's on my phone so i will go through it with you now so saturday which is actually today i thought i would try and do something new we've actually been out for lunch today and then we went to an ice cream parlor as well and we're all pretty stuffed and i don't think we're going to eat anything big and i kind of planned on that so i'm going to make something called queso fundido which is a recipe that i found on the tesco website while i was doing my grocery order and it's like a chorizo kind of i don't know like nacho style thing with like um feta and that kind of stuff so i thought it would be just a nice one to try and it's like a little bit different for a saturday night but not too heavy because honestly like you should have seen the waffles i had i couldn't even finish them i am um, sunday i'm going to do roast lemon and herb chicken because i've got lots of lemons for various recipes i'm going to use one of those up by sticking it up its butt basically i'm going to do some roast potatoes i think and some veg on the side i want to do like a lighter roast dinner as it's starting to warm up a bit it's quite nice outside today actually and just like eat a little bit healthier basically then on monday the leftover chicken i'm going to make a chicken and sweet corn soup that's bill's favorite ever soup so he will be over the moon with that and it just eases up all the chicken it's quite a frugal dish to make and quite quick and simple as well and we're going to serve up some prawn crackers with that as well and the recipe that i'm going to base it on is the bbc good food one that i found it just had some good reviews so i thought i'd go for it then on tuesday i'm going to do a crunchy indian potato salad it uses up loads of stuff that I've already got in already, like um, mango chutney and I've got papadums in and that kind of thing. So I thought it would be a nice meat-free alternative to try and I think the kids will really enjoy it. And then on Wednesday, we're going to do sweet corn fritters with avocado salad because it'll be nice and quick and easy. And I can also split that recipe quite easily between all of us based on like Bill having swimming lessons and that kind of thing. And then on Thursday... I am going to do tandoori chicken with peppers and onions. So I'm gonna do like a tandoori mix with like tandoori spice, which I've got in the cupboard already, yogurt, and then I'm gonna serve that up with rice and salad and a yogurt and mint right here as well. I am trying to like lighten up our meal plans a little bit more now it's getting into spring because I wanna eat like healthier, lighter foods because I feel like I've been hibernating and living off like stodge and chocolate and wine for ages and I want to like look after myself a little bit more now but hopefully that will give me the head start that I need anyway and um, I hope you found it helpful as well. I'm going to go now and put it all away and enjoy the rest of my Saturday but have a lovely day whatever you're up to and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye!